Hello and welcome. I'm Katie Gordon. This is Dietless Living. And today I wanted to just talk to you a little bit about your health in general, you know, because weight is um, or health is more than just a number on the scales. I mean, what we weigh is really no indication of our the health of our body. Sure, there's certain body sizes that you go I don't know that that's as healthy as it could be but for the majority of us we're we're just not that overweight we we don't fit with the um uh, BMI schedule perhaps or you know there's some scale or schedule out there that's telling us that we're overweight but in general, health is more than the number on the scale because there's plenty of skinny people walking around who are really, really unhealthy. There's plenty of people walking around with a little bit extra weight on their body that are really, really healthy. And, you know, health is actually also more than about how fit and strong you are because hospitals are full of really fit people with stress-related conditions. and health is not just physical health is it it's mental health emotional health it's um behavioral health there's a lot of people who um seem to have their fitness and maybe their diet down down pat you know maybe there's people who seem to eat all the right things but they never get any exercise and then there's people who get loads of exercise, but outside they're, you know, they're still eating, making poor choices in food. They're basically out exercising their bad eating habits. I actually saw a guy the other day, what was he on? He was on a push bike? No, he was on rollerblades, that's right. Riding, uh, skating along the river with uh, a vape. So, you know, just your level of fitness isn't an indicator of health. So there's many indicators. So we've got to think about our health overall. And it's really about your thoughts, feelings and behaviours are an indicator of your mental, emotional and physical health. It's how you cope with life overall. It's how you cope with life when things are good when things go a little bit sideways and when things get turned upside down on us. That's our indication of real health, how we cope and deal with life. Because how we cope and deal with life is going to dictate how we, uh, the actions that we take, whether we're getting good sleep, whether we're preparing food for ourselves or just having good healthy food in the fridge that you can eat quickly, whether we're taking the time to drink uh, water, whether we're getting some outside time. And I mean, life goes funny. I mean, I got to the end of last week on Friday and realised I had not left the apartment for five days for five days and I went wow I haven't been out not even to the letterbox um I didn't need to go anywhere and I was just so busy with work I was exercising every morning um I do my workout in the morning I was um I do my hour of meditation so I felt like I was being healthy but I hadn't actually been outside and I'm the one who's always like get outside so we get caught up in things and to be honest I've done it again this week. I've gotten to Thursday and I still haven't left the apartment. I made up for it on the weekend. I did a, uh, you know, a 15K walk one day, a 10K walk the other day. But it's not what I do on the weekend that matters. It's what you do every day. And I've gone against my own rules and allowed work um, to get in the way. And I have, here I am, week two, um, with a five day stint of not having left the house. So we need to be aware of our health habits um, and we need to be aware of how we're coping and dealing with life. So what I wanted to talk to you today about specifically was I invite you to think about your health in general. So how does your body feel? Like how does your body feel right now and how does your body feel when you first wake up in the morning? 
How does your body feel when you go to bed at night? Your body is talking to you all day, every day. It's got a lot to say. And most times we're just blotting it out. We're not paying attention or we're getting cranky at it for the things it's saying. You know, we have a sore back, we've got a sore neck, we get a headache, we've got aches and pains all over, we've got indigestion, we've got allergies, we've got all sorts of things. And really they are indicators of the happiness of our body. And so what is your body saying to you right now? What's it saying to you when you wake up in the morning? What's it saying to you when you go to bed at night? Is it saying, thanks for looking after me? I feel really great. Or is it saying, I'm not really sure we're communicating well. Can you please hear me and pay attention to what I'm saying? As you think about your health in general and think about what your body's saying to you, now I'd like you to think about how you can improve your health. You know what your health habits are. You know where you could improve your health and improving your health could just be like I said getting outside so I need to take my own a leaf out of my own book and get outside today but health is also laughing singing dancing feeling light moving your body in fun ways so I suppose I don't feel like I have and this is how I've probably tricked myself these last two weeks is because I start my day with meditation and then my workout is actually singing and dancing around the house and then I put in what I call Katie Jim moment moments and I do you know some uh, weight to do some strength training I've got a rebounded trampoline trampoline which you know I bounce around on so that doesn't feel like exercise and I laugh and I giggle with myself and I stand on my coffee table every morning and you know belt out a tune I've got a few songs that I really like to sing and I stand on the coffee table and I look out at the river and I sing a song to Brisbane so i feel very good I feel that my body and I are in tune haha in tune together so I'd like you to think about the things that you can do to improve your health and the reason I said all of that was because health is not just you know cutting down on sugar and and getting exercise it's many things it's laughter it's um, how you feel about life it's how you feel about your life. It's how you feel about your day. It's all kinds of things. So think about what you could do to create improvement in your health. And then I want you to grab a pen and paper and list down the top 10 obstacles that you can see that to you achieving those, that what you want to do. So whether it's I want to sing every day and feel happy and um, you know, release some stress that way, because singing is a really good way of releasing stress. Or maybe it's the obstacle is time, you, you have a shortage of uh, available spare time. Uh, maybe the obstacle is that you're working really long hours and you haven't got some time in there to exercise. Whatever your obstacles are, just write down the first 10 that come to you, because they're, they're the ones that, stand out right they're the first ones that you say when somebody says why aren't you looking after your health oh well and then just write them down and then pick the top two the two that really stand out to you as the main obstacles to you making a little improvement we're not talking about turning you into Arnie Schwarzenegger or you know one of the supermodels or anything like that we're just talking about a small improvement in your health that you can make today and then keep doing for all the days to come after today. So write down your top 10 obstacles, pick the top two out of the top 10 and then brainstorm two ways to overcome each one. So two ways to overcome number one, two ways to overcome number two and then uh, write down the top two benefits of overcoming those obstacles. What will it get for you? What will be the result for you if you overcome those two obstacles, make that small improvement in your health, and then keep making that small improvement in your health? 
So that's just today's um, small thing, small step forward to creating better, shinier, more energetic, more happy feelings, and just generally good health. And remember to do that little activity that I just invited you to do. So think about what um, something that you can do to improve your health right now, whether that's just uh, find some more happiness in your day, get some more outside time, whatever it is, something that will improve your state of mind, your emotional state or your physical state. Think about what it is, then write down the top 10 obstacles that come to mind, the first 10 things that come to mind. Don't think about it too hard, just write them down, look at it, pick the top two obstacles that you go, they're the, they're the main two, and then think of two ways to overcome each one of those. So two ways to overcome obstacle one, two ways to overcome obstacle two, and then think of two benefits that you will get from making that small improvement in your health. And that's as easy as it gets for improving your health. And then maybe tomorrow you wanna to look at the other eight things on the list and think about two ways to overcome those. And eventually, if you do a little bit, little bit, little bit, be consistent, you will make great changes in your health. Bye for now.